Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at the little saw I built a couple years back that I've really not looked at in a while. I pulled it off the shelf, I don't know, a few months back and the thing never did really run right. Um, probably end up having to redo the engine. I had one of those big stupid banana pipes on it. It ended up wallowing out the bolts on the Chinese cylinder that I'm running because if you don't know some of the Chinese cylinders for these are nickel plated, chrome plated. I think this one was chrome plated, but um, it is converted to alcohol. It is run on a big carburetor. It's running a 372 XP carburetor on it. Um, the problem with it was, I'd figured out, while it was never running right, it was only getting about a quarter throttle. Uh, something in the linkage on the carb was bound up. To do with the uh, high speed circuit for the choke, I just took all of that off of it. And she gets full throttle now, but I'd only bench ran the thing, and that's been months back. I have no idea if it's even going to start and run, but... Uh, what we're going to do right now, I've got the chain over here on the grinder, or bay chain that I'm putting on it. 14 inch set up. Um, we're going to get that ground and get it on there. I may video a little bit of that, may not. And see if this thing will perform like it should, or if maybe we need to do another video and just go back into it. I do have another cylinder here that I can, I have the original cylinder, it was fine that we could put back in it and kind of do a redo on it I guess, but uh, with that said I'll get you guys off of me and give you a look at something. Holy different. shit guys of all times when I should have been videoing. Former tech grinding wheel no more. Uh, ground one cutter, went to the next cutter, boom. Um, that's crazy. Um, we're going to put the Tacomic wheel on it. I just wanted to see how that cheap wheel would do. Yeah, if you buy a farmer tech grinder, don't use the stones that come with it. Okay, so we had another stone failure as I was putting the tech Mech stone that came in the grinder for the 3 8 low pro chain. It kind of crumbled in my hands. So we are back with a large wheel. Um, it works. You're not going to get as good of a cutter as you would with that smaller stone because it's actually it's like using a big file in the cutter. This is an old chain that kind of filed a hill anyway. It's an old archer chain but it's actually making a pretty good cutter, but it's got a big hook in it, so I don't know how that saw is going to handle that or not, but um, anyway, I don't know guys, it appears to be kind of sharp, we'll just have to right, see. Guys, uh, I've never got the fuel cap to break loose, and I know it does leak. I hope the fuel line and stuff is still intact. It all appears to be in there and fine. And we got a I don't know, half a gallon of methanol, two stroke mix, like 20 to 1. Been sitting here all of, I don't know, a couple years now. And you do burn a lot more methanol than you do fuel, if you don't know that. I know for a fact this thing pours and leaks. Let's hope we don't have a fire in here. No idea if it's going to start and run and find out together. I think the choke mechanism on this carburetor kind of works. Um, it would if it was in it. Well, that's not good. Um, brief intermission, guys. guys. Um, I'm going to prime it a little bit, I think, just so I'm not sitting pulling my guts out. I said, I don't even know if things going to run. I think I had it running a few months back. don't really remember. Better check. 
choke mechanism is laying in here. I don't know why it was not locked into the cover. That's a little weird. Hope it's not a case where maybe I was robbing parts off of the saw or something. But let's see what it does. Well, that's a good sign. cover on and choke back in and we'll go see if this chain will sling some chips my luck it won't even do anything actually cuts really well. I don't know if you guys noticed my new hat. I've actually had that a few weeks. Ryan sent that to us from Wolf Creek with one of the last orders we had gotten. Um, that bunch has always been good to us here. Excellent customer service. Um, I don't know if we pick up. We're uh, representing super clean here. Um, <laughs> that's actually what was hanging in the closet but it's kind of ironic because the lady with Super Clean had got back a hold of me and uh, we're going to do another giveaway. we done a giveaway a couple years ago and you know we've they've been a supplier of this channel for cleaners and degreasers probably for going on four years I think now but uh, you can look, guys can look forward to that. We're going to do another Super Clean giveaway. But with that said, man this thing's loud. Um, I needed ear protection. Both the ears are hurting, they're ringing. Um, I think the ignition or maybe the plug that's in it went to laying down at the end. Um, actually, when I went to start making the first cuts, I had an ignition stutter, but I don't know. Ran it up, it cleaned out, and that chain is hungry. It is throwing a way better chip than I ever thought it was going to throw. This camera is pretty good, so you should be able to see those chips. Or if not, I guess you can take my word for it and hear how hard the saw's pulling in that little piece of wood. Um, that wood's not rotten; it's sound. Um, this is what it is. Um, the little saw's not bad. It's a lot better than I remember it being before. Um, I think we can do better, though. Um, I'm not sure if I want to tear into this because this was for fun. It's like a joke kind of deal, a novelty deal. I would never take this into the woods and try to cut wood with it at all. Um, those few cuts I made, I'm pretty sure the tank's empty. I set the saw on the ground and was going to video a little bit. Went to idling up and down and died. So 
pretty sure it sucked the tank empty that fast and that's kind of the downfall to running one on the alcohol um, again just for fun anyway kind of an experimental kind of deal for me um, be cool to try to get the one run on the nitro fuel we may go down that road and guys i'm a nitrous guy back when i used to drag race um i was a nitrous guy i'd had turbo cores and all motor cores but ain't nothing like the feel of 150 shot if it's set up right uh, it's being like launched out of a damn cannon but with that said that's something we're going to look into here on the channel as well um Seems stuff like this gets a lot more attention than the more boring things. Um, the teardowns and rebuilds and repairs, they do really good over time. But stuff like this to where it's borderline, is that thing going to blow up in his face and catch on fire? Seems more people want to see that stuff. And with that said, I hope this gets more than a couple hundred views. But if not, it is what it is. But... Um, I know some of you are probably wanting to look at this thing, so what I'm going to do is get you guys off of my mug and we'll pull the hood off the saw and give you an up close look at it. I hope this footage is looking good. It's looking okay through the camera. Um, this is a pretty good camera. It has an okay lens on it. Uh, I've got several cameras every now and then i'll video something and go watch it and i'm like damn that looks fuzzy come back and look and oil's either splattered back on the lens or parts cleaner or something i was drinking or i've just got a smudge on the lens um i know a lot of people just video with their phones but i do that every now and then but um my phone does okay it's an old samsung galaxy s20 does okay but it ain't the greatest in the world for video um, although they did say that oliver anthony dude that's what he used to video that damn song that went so viral i actually heard joe rogan say that but 372 carburetor chinese cylinder chrome plated um thing has good compression i'd better watch i don't want that damn thing to fire in here it is possible for it to do that but um impulse is actually i drilled out the very bottom of the cylinder down there um that probably ain't picking up at all but you can take my word for it ran down and hooked in there um i did have some problems with the impulse melting in the beginning um ended up just getting the right length of line and eliminated that but what i've done um i've seen some guys will make a bushing the easiest thing for you to do is just get a pop rivet and put in that big hole in the 372 throttle uh, blade shaft and that linkage will go right in there's no modifications or anything um, the only thing modified is the carb base plate that big plastic intake manifold i've trimmed it out all around filled it in with epoxy or jb weld and then went in and opened it up and it just kind of funnels in down toward the intake the intake's not really opened up that big at all it is bigger than stock but um, not what you'd think and the numbers in it i don't really remember but i know the exhaust was still past 100 where i left it and um I don't remember exactly where the transfers was at and the intake I think was pushed up near 80 or something but uh, again it's been two years stuff like this I didn't even write anything down on it I'm sure um, again you know just for fun and this ugly pipe that I'd put together um, it seems to work seems to be loud um, you know whatever <laughs> and for some reason the stuff on this camera is looking fuzzy to me looking at it through the back maybe that helped maybe it didn't i don't know but um guys i'm probably gonna call it a wrap on this video maybe we can get an up close of this cutter and try that 
see how that pans out, but um, honestly cutting really well. I guess the video might have spoke for itself, but not too shabby at all for what it is. But um, anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. Everybody have a good one.